Hello everybody, welcome back to another KSP video, and today's a video we are going to be doing another build time lapse, because they're pretty cool, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, today's another recreation video. Today we are going to be recreating the Boeing X-20 Dinosaur, or Dinosaur, as, you know, puns, right? Um, that's actually what it's called, the Dina-Soar, like S-O-A-R, you know, like it's a dinosaur, but it's soaring, oh my, yeah, so amazing, right? Uh, what we're doing now is uh, building the plane. It's a very small aircraft. It had uh, capacity for one crew and it had a uh, cargo bay, uh, which could actually fit up to four people if you put the cargo bay, uh, had, uh, you put like a passenger module in the cargo bay, but it also could carry some uh, payloads and stuff. Um, we're actually just going to be putting some service modules in place of the uh, in place of the uh, payload bay, uh, just uh, so I can put some electrical and reaction wheels and stuff like that and monoprop in there. Um, <clears throat> so uh, it's crossfaded over um, to a design I built for the back, which is not at all a good design. Um, it took forever to work on it, and it, I ended up scrapping it. So I didn't really show the construction of it because I didn't want to show something that I get scrapped. But um, yeah, just building the wings now. Um, another thing is this aircraft is actually white, or sorry, black, uh, the real thing. But there's no real black pieces or black wings or anything. So unfortunately, I did have to make it white. So that kind of sucks. But I did the best I could. I mean, I could have done better. Maybe I don't know. This is actually a very difficult aircraft to do because it's so small. Um, they're not very. You can't really get very intricate with the pieces. So. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a challenge to build. It actually took me a while to build. Uh, but why don't we talk about what we're doing with these things? So uh, this thing was actually used um, for uh, it was a research aircraft. It was it was never flown. It was canceled um, because the Department of Defense said, "Hey, you know, it's the Cold War. We need military planes. We don't need civilian planes. That is that is lame." So they scrapped this and reverted. They diverted the funding into uh, the construction of rockets and ICBMs and stuff like that. So what we are going to do is we are going to use it for military purposes. So show the government how wrong they were in abandoning this epic plane, or epic space plane. It, you know, it, was, it would have been launched on a booster. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting one of these, and then we're going to be cloning it, and then cloning it again. So we're going to get three of them. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be launching them on a rocket into orbit, and then we're going to deorbit them. And then I have some boosters uh, I have hanging out at my space center that I landed uh, on my... On my uh, around my space center at like reusable boosters they're like my pieces of memorabilia um and we're gonna just kamikaze into them um because i mean you know in real life you know i'm not you know so yeah we're gonna kamikaze we're just gonna we're gonna wreck the boosters we're gonna give it to them right um unfortunately we are gonna kill three kerbals um yeah um this is the weird the thing we would not be used for a kamikaze aircraft in real life obviously you know first of all that's like not a good thing to kamikaze and like murder people but um i mean i'm sure if they used it for you know like actual destructive purposes in real life they would have like not made a crew version um but i mean this thing is just a complete i'm completely using for something completely different um so we are going to kill three kerbals because this is kerbal space program who cares about kerbal lives um so they're not any important Kerbals, they're just random Kerbals I got from the astronaut complex, or astronaut building. Uh, so just uh, stacking the three of them in a five meter fairing, and the aircraft is pretty much completed. I can uh, throw a picture up of what the aircraft actually looked like, um, to kind of see you guys if I did like a reasonably okay job, you know, judge for yourselves. Um, it looks like when I cloned the aircraft, the fairings didn't clone properly. I'm just realizing that now as I watch back. Because I was wondering, in my flight, um, the fairings were disappearing. I'm like, hey, what happened to the fairings? Turns out, that's what happened to them. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, in real life, this thing would have launched on a Titan rocket, a Titan booster with um, with some added, um, a modified Titan booster. Um, I'm adding launching on a custom thing because I'm launching three of them. Um, normally, they only launch in ones. It, it really was just a research uh, space plane that would go into orbit and then do some fun stuff and then come back down. Um, yeah, we're not for the apps. Yeah, we're not gonna even <laughs> it really wasn't used for what I'm gonna use it for uh, Which is running into boosters. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it is fun explosions, right guys? We like explosions um, So just building the bottom state or the upper stage now While we're doing that I would like to say how thankful I am for you guys because uh, yesterday I said I was like, hey guys, just to let you know, uh, my subscriber growth is, you know, is slowing down a little bit. So I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And it turns out, you guys just like, this morning, I've got, I've gained, we're gonna, we're on track to have a record in terms of subscriber gains today, like the most subscriber gains. So apparently you guys are just like, insane. Well, I don't know why so many people are subscribing to me. Like, apparently, you guys are just awesome. Thank you guys. We're on, uh, my goal, my new goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the month, and that, like, may be possible. 
Like, I, 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 st I still think you have, like, maybe a 20% chance. This morning, I thought it was a 10% chance, but then I just got, like, all the subs today. So, I don't know why you guys like me so much. Um, maybe, maybe someone's accidentally subscribing. If you accidentally subscribed, um, why are you subscribed? You should unsubscribe. That's lame. <laughs> um, that'd be, that'd be, yeah, that's, that'd be, that'd be wasting your valuable subscription time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys are just awesome. And, you know, I've been getting, a, like, a lot of comments. I'm sorry if I'm not replying to as many comments. I'm trying to respond to everyone. I think I'm still getting everyone, but some of the replies I'm not getting. So if you could just at me in the replies so I actually get notified about them, that would be that'd be nice. So thank you guys very much. Thanks for all the comments, likes, subscribes. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't, feel free to do all that. But uh, no more plugging because we are in the air now. We have fired up our... This is a really derpy-looking rocket, um, and I love it. It's, it's amazing. So we're just going into orbit now. Uh, all those three Kerbals look very happy knowing they're intending to maybe they don't know it. Uh, maybe I could do a quick save and then we'll do a quick save and we'll be fine. I don't know. The point is of explosion. That's the point is I could have just put a probe car in it. I probably just could have done that for with these Kerbals, but oh well. Uh, we're just uh, burning out the bottom stage. Now it doesn't burn for very long. The upper stage uh, will burn for a very long, 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 long time. As we uh, continue to pitch over and get ourselves into about a 100 by 100 kilometer orbit. Uh, it is powered by four poodles, so we do have not the highest thrust rate ratio, so we're going to try and uh, pitch a little bit more steeply on this ascent so we can get ourselves into, into orbit. A little more fact about this uh, about this aircraft. Um, it, it, was, it was supposed to always one crew. There's, this was uh, in the 60s it has been developed, so there was, you know, that was back when Boeing was a competent company. Um, so yeah, there was no sort of automatic stuff like that. Uh, it was about, it was six meters uh, in wingspan. 10 meters in length and then two and a half meters in height and you can see the three planes exposed as so so this is a really small thing like my uh design is actually fairly accurate it's about a half a meter short uh in most dimensions but or in length and it's less than that in height and width but uh yeah this thing actually was supposed to be orbital um uh, there was an orbital version. The uh, it was also supposed to use it's kind of like the X-15, if you know what that is. It was a suborbital rocket plane, basically. Uh, so this thing it could do both roles. It could go into orbit or do other stuff. Um, but that uh, that's kind of unimportant now because we are in orbit and we need to detach our first payload and do our first epic explosion, amazing attack on the booster. Uh, I just figured I have those these boosters here. You know, might as well do something with them. So. Crossfitting now as we get the first one deorbited. We have two engines. The real one is powered by two a AJ-10 engines. Uh, I just use thuds as the analog for those as we come in now. Uh, the one thing that is definitely supposed to I have to keep in mind is that front Mark 1 um, cockpit has very bad um, heat tolerance. We had to do a little bit, a lot of pitching up during this uh, re-entry to kind of keep it going. But here we go. Um... Just, uh, we overshot a little bit, but now we're coming back. Another thing is I have so many craft, all these extra boosters, it makes, um, makes the game lag re like, really badly when I'm near the space center. So that is why we need to get rid of them. Here we go, and quack. There it goes. That one booster there is going to be nothing left of it. It is just completely collapsing in on itself as it lags to death. There we go. Bye, booster. You suck. Lame. I spent all that time trying to land it accurately, and it just, you yeah, know, rip booster. But yeah, that's the first one done, and now we can cross it over to the second one. Yeah, it actually serves a role because the boosters cause a lot of lag when I'm near my space center because of all the different parts that are craft that are in place. Not about like the just park up, but the amount of crafts. It really kind of causes problems. So that we need, this is actually as a mission. These Kerbals are valiantly sacrificing their lives for a purpose. Uh, look, he's even enjoying himself. This Kerbal actually almost survived. <laughs> first shot, right? Here we go. So. Coming in now. The next one, we're going to hit the booster on top of the helipad is going to be the next target. So we're coming in. Get ready to go through the lag spikes as we interface with the range of all these boosters. And coming in to the helipad. And, oh, lag spike. Oh, we missed. Oh, big lag spike. And just death. I, I thought it might wobble the booster down. Uh, but, yeah. Nope. We have a quick save. So that's good. We can just reload that. And we can attempt number two at coming in. We're coming in a little better angle this time. As we come, and I'm playing this back at one time speed, you can see the horrible lag as I enter physics range. That is the reason these boosters need to go. They just have just major, major lag issues. Um, so, here we are, coming in. This one is looking a little bit more promising as we come in towards the booster, and... 
Whack. I like ninja slice to that one. And the Kerbal almost survived. Look, like boom. And then it looks like we're underwater here. Don't know what's happening. And death. So we're just gonna cross right over to the last one as we plan our re-entry. Um, yeah, and this last one, actually, I'm not going to be uh, crashing um, because, you know, this plane, I decided this last one, I'm going to use it for its intended purpose. So this one, we're just going to land back at the runway. We're going to say they did some science. They did some research. Um, you know what? Yeah, I think that'll be a good plan, right? Let this Kerbal live. We'll be merciful. It's a little bit of an overshoot, but I have a little of extra Delta V in the engines to fire them and get uh, right, us right the way back to the right. And this thing's actually really fun to fly. That's another reason I wanted to bring this one back, just to demonstrate, you know, it's a great thing to fly. And it can come in, it's pretty nice and easy to control as we bring her back to the runway. And this thing also come down to pretty slow speeds. So uh, when that is coming back, which will be very soon, we're gonna drop it back down to one time speed as we go through all the lag spikes, all the lag spikes, and here we are as we come in. As you look at the top of the VAB, that other booster actually survived. Uh, it's just got the first, the top half of it just got ninja sliced off. So I guess I didn't even fulfill my mission. Uh, either way though, we've landed and that is going to bring us to the conclusion of the video. So uh, I have a link to the Discord below uh, if you want to join my Discord. It's actually pretty fun. We have a lot of people in the Discord now. It's almost like 120 people. It's crazy. You guys, the channel, you guys are just, thank you. You guys are epic. Um, yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Uh, Discord, like, thumbs up, do all the things. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my, insert YouTuber pluggy thing in here. And that's going to be the end of the video. Um, cards have probably been up here for a second or two. And that, that, yep, that, that's it, guys. So, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.